Hi friends, welcome to CodeJana and today let's take a look at how to install pip in Python. As you already know that pip is a package installer for Python and you use it to install other modules. So if somehow your pip installation is corrupted, or you don't have it for some reason, maybe you customized the installation of Python and you forgot to check the box with pip install. Uh, it's not going to be on your system but don't worry it's not too hard to get pip on your windows 10 system so let's get started first of all we're going to check whether we have pip or not well i already know that we do have pip so we're just going to type pip double dash and version so we have pip 20.0.2 so the first and most preferred method is actually via python installation file you can navigate to Python click on downloads and you can download any latest iteration of Python after it is downloaded it's going to generate a file a setup file if you will so I have this file in my system Python 3.8.3 EMD 64 that's 64 bit version of Python so let's click on it and we can either uninstall it repair it or modify it how about we modify individual features see you can see all of these individual features and you can just deselect all of them and only select pip if you don't have it installed so after selecting pip you can click next and simply select next if you have other installation location of your python you can just type that in here and just click install so after it is done installing you can check it via pip double dash version in command prompt so this is the first method that we have and it is most preferred but if for some reason you don't want to do it this way there is another method and we'll discuss it in a bit so let's discuss the other method open chrome select pip install okay so you need to click on this great so you need to click on this you can just uh, type this URL I'm going to include the link in the description all right so you need to click on get pip here it is click on it and this is the pip file you can just copy all of this and create a new file or you can just right click it and save it save link as and then as a Python file okay I already have that file downloaded so I'm going to open it it's on my downloads folder that's it get pip currently I'm going to just paste it on my desktop and I'm going to open the command prompt now you need to go to this location desktop and we are going to run this get pip file via python command so python and then get pip if you're doing this via ubuntu or mac you need to type python 3 and then get pip so let's run this file and it is currently going on the web and searching for latest version of pip i did not have pip 20 version see now it says that access is denied but don't worry in your system you will have the latest version of pip since access is denied you can just right click your command prompt or powershell and run it as an administrator we will navigate to desktop and then this file so that is cd and then on my cd users and then kk laptop and desktop and then after this python get pip so let's try to install it okay it's collecting the pip package and it is successfully installed okay so my bad there folks you need to install it as an administrator to make the changes permanent and thankfully for this video I now have the latest version of pip now one more thing if you want to upgrade your pip installation you don't need to go through all this trouble you can just initiate a pip upgrade command by following this command python dash m and then pip install upgrade pip so all of this should be in the same line let's press enter requirement already up to date so if your version of pip is lesser than 20.1.1 as of recording this video then you will have the latest version all right 
So that's all there is to it to install pip in your system. So I'm going to exit out of it and I'm going to link this particular file in the description as well uh, so you can download it directly. So thank you for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and take care.